creamy fish pie bites with cheesy fondue. Obviously. Fondue is what your parents used to eat before you were born. Fondue played a part in your inception. Come on, it's just, it's gonna get messy. It's just the way it is. Right guys, I'm in beautiful Belfast at the legendary St. George's Market. This place is awesome. It's been here for over 120 years and it's some of the most amazing produce from this part of the world is here in the market. And I've come to Belfast to see my mates Mash Direct because I'm doing Food Buskers Mash Up with Mash Direct. <laughs> Let's go get the fish. Okay, so I'm gonna use a classic fish pie mix of salmon, smoked haddock, and shrimp. I'm also gonna put some cheeky crab in there because I love crab and it's got that beautiful sweetness to it. But look, you could use whatever you wanted. You could use some lobster, some langoustines. Use the fish you love. Ah, oh, now look, this is really interesting. Fresh dulse, this is seaweed that's really prevalent in this part of the world. Oh, so salty. Oh, so delicious. Would work really well in mashed potato, actually. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, mate. Right, okay, so I've got some beautiful smoked haddock. That smokiness is gonna really add a depth to the bite. And then this fresh salmon, which looks gorgeous, I'm gonna take the skin off that. Okay, now I'm gonna poach the fish in a classic fish poaching liquor, which is milk bay leaves, onions, and peppercorns. Let's get the fish in. Okay, lid on, just get it at a gentle simmer and cook it for two to three minutes, no more, otherwise it will be overcooked. Set that aside to cool down, five minutes. So there's our lovely moist fish, and I've got some sweet crab and some cooked prawns. That little lot's gonna go into the mashed potato. Okay, Mash Direct use Maris Piper for their potatoes. Maris Piper is the perfect mash potato. It's not got that waxy vibe, it's got that beautiful earthy, nutty taste, which really comes through. The second thing is, is that they don't boil the potatoes, they steam them. If you boil potatoes, then all the flavor and the nutrients bleeds into the water. If you steam them, you ziplock all that flavor and that goes into your dish. So I've got 500 grams there of mashed potato. Then I'm gonna take 100 grams of the salmon and flake that in and then 100 grams of the smoked haddock. Same again, flake in. Then I've got this beautiful crab. So excited about it. Let's drop some nice fat chunks of that in. Again, 100 grams. And then with the prawns, I'm just gonna strain off any excess water and then roughly chop those. Drop those in. And then let's get some flat leaf parsley in. Just roughly chop through that. Drop that in. And then we're gonna put salt freshly cracked pepper, and then we've got some garlic powder. We're just gonna put a nice teaspoon of that in. And then finally, we really wanna make this creamy and sumptuous, and when it's hot, it's gonna, you want it to ooze. So we're gonna put 100 mils of double cream in. Okay, let's incorporate all those ingredients together. So, this mashed potato now is being fortified with beautiful fish. You can just see the flavors dying to get out. It's gonna be so good. So we're just gonna put them into nice barrel shapes and make a raft of those and then we'll pan -a them. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside in the fridge for about half an hour just to let them to come together to set so they don't break up when they fry. Meantime, I'm gonna make the fondue, that beautiful cheesy sauce. Fish pie bites and fondue mashed up together. Genius. Okay, fondue, cheese sauce. That thing your parents used to eat in the 70s. It's sad, isn't it? Well, it's not. No, it's cheesy, gooey mastermind. People, beautiful, stringy, cheesy sauce for your crunchy fish bites to go into. It's gonna be a marriage made in heaven. And it starts with bruising some garlic in a warm pan. Come and have a look at this. To start off by taking your garlic and rubbing it around your pan. You're releasing the natural oil within. And now you need to add 250 grams of Emmental cheese and 250 grams of Gruyere. Melt the cheese down with the garlic on that really slow heat. And while that's happening, let's get the thickening agent ready. 
teaspoon of corn flour with about a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Now let's add that to the cheese. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then gradually bring it together with double cream. So then you keep mixing until you get this sort of consistency. That cheesy genius there. Now, what you would do is serve it immediately like this, or if you want to take it to the next level, you need to get this bad boy. Here it is, your classic fondue set. You'll find this in most basements or attics. Clean it off, get it out, and it's essential to fondue because it's heated by a bit of paraffin, which keeps the bowl nice and hot, which means that you can put your cheese sauce in and it stays stringy. Essential kit for fondue. Let's fill it up. Cheesy fondue done. Now let's get our beautiful fish by creamy bites ready by getting them pan -aid. Okay, so the only thing left now to do is to fry our fish pie bites. So get a little bit of breadcrumbs, drop them into your fryer. If they fish straight away, then it's ready to go. It means it's about 190 degrees. Let's get these in. God. Oh, you can smell the smoked haddock as well. Oh, mate. Oh. It's so good. Let's get these plated up. Creamy fish pie bites with cheesy fondue. The ultimate mashup, people. I can't wait to take this to the street of St. George Market in Belfast. Listen, three, 350, gotta be, come on, come on. Let's take it out there and see what people will pay. Excuse me, folks, I wonder if you'd help me. So I've just cooked up these fish pie crunchy bites with fondue sauce. I'm the food busker, I come from London town. People try my food and then they tell me what they think the food is worth. They're flipping delicious. Will you try one and tell yeah, me what you yeah, think? Yeah. Right, pick that guy up. What that's it. Worth? So that's it. So I'm going to give you some fondue. Boys, don't go. You need to try this. Cheesy. F Look at that. Right, go on. Big bite. It's going to get messy. Hey, dude. Good. Yeah. Cheesiness works well with the fishiness. Yeah, yeah. Crunchy's happiness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For three of those, what do you think they're worth? Maybe a pound each. A pound each, three pound. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Grab one Cheese. each. That's it. Come and just dip it in. Come on, it's just, it's going to get messy. It's just right. the way it is. So just come here. Right, okay. We're all friends. You want a bit more, don't you? I can tell. There we go. Okay, okay. Now, fondue is what your parents used to eat before you were born. Fondue played a part in your inception. What do you think? Nice, got some shrimps inside. And it's tasty? Yeah, yeah, I like it. You like it, like it? For three of those guys, what do you think it's worth? Five pounds. Five pounds? Eight pounds. Eight pounds? Three pounds. Three pounds. Okay, you two can stay, you're going to have to go. Aww. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Yeah. See you later. Fish hey, pie bites, come on. Well, I'm the jury manager, so I'll have a go. Like. You'll have to. Right, get in there. So this is, it's its quite, there's a lot of drama with fondue. It's just the way it is. Okay, right, big bites. Okay, now, is that pain or happiness? It's happiness. It's a 10 out of 10. It's happiness. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? What do you think three of those are worth? What would you pay for three of them with a the fondue? On the market, I would pay six quid. Six quid? Six quid, six quid. Good on you. Creamy cheese pie bites with a fondue sauce. I've killed it here in Belfast. St. George's Market loved it, people. You've got to do this one. This is great for a party and to get people talking. 4-2, increase the peace, spread the love.